Hello everyone, Celtic Fairy Tarot back with another pick a card reading and today we're going to be getting into what is your dominant energy right now? A quick check-in with your higher self. Where is your energy at? Okay, for pile one we have this little vial of bergamot. Pile two, we have this wooden spoon. Pile three, we have this owl and binoculars. And for pile four, we have this pumpkin sculpture statue. It says, be blessed, be thankful. All right, take your time, vibe out which pile is calling to you, and the timestamps are down below. Can't wait to get into it. Hi, pile one. You have chosen the Bergamot and the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about speed, action, and air travel, and I'm also drawn to the fact that there is a hawk on this card and I feel pile one what you are doing right now and what your dominant energy right now especially with bergamot being about attracting abundance attracting wealth that's exactly what you're doing your energy is in a very manifestation energy <laughs> your energy is in manifestation mode right and I think you could be trying to bring in a business, you could be trying to um, come up with a way to make money or abundance, you could be um, in school getting a new degree. There's just a lot of forward moving action here and where your energy is at pile one is beautifully high vibrational, <laughs> calling in everything you deserve. That is the energy that I am picking up on with this Eight of Wands, okay? We're going to pull some handwritten messages from your higher self now. And we are going to do a quick check-in of what you need to know from your higher self based on this dominant energy you have. Yeah, this is like, I'm going to go out and get my destiny energy. <laughs> like, you're ready for the trip, pile one. All right. Messages from pile one's higher self to pile one, please. Okay. All right, we have, when you think of happy thoughts, you will fly, Peter Pan. So Peter Pan could have a message in there for you. <clears throat> On the top of the deck here, we have, a, I have aligned with my purpose. And yeah, I really feel that. I really feel like you're like, I know what my destiny is and I'm going to go out and get it now. <laughs> All right, we have, they say if you dream a thing more than once, it's sure to come true, Sleeping Beauty. So Sleeping Beauty could have a message there for you as well. Um, for some of you, what I'm picking up from this card and from the movie Sleeping Beauty is you could have lost yourself in a romantic connection for quite some time waiting for that person to show up for you and you're starting to learn how to show up for yourself, okay? I am a beautiful soul that radiates a vibrant and peaceful form. Beautiful. We have the Fox and the Hound. So the Fox and the Hound movie could have a message in it for you. We have Hercules. So Hercules could have a message in it for you. I will find my way and I will go the distance, right? We have I choose myself. We do have inner child messages on the back here, and I may pull one forward should it call to me, um, but if you see me flipping the cards over, that's why, okay? James and the Giant Peach. So James and the Giant Peach could have a message for you. 
And on the back of the deck, we, I mean, on the back of the card, I was called to flip it. We have, I need to stop allowing the one who cheated on me to keep me locked in this mental prison. It does not define me. Okay, I'm going to leave that at the forefront of that. And again, on the back was James and the Giant Peach, um, which is a movie quite a bit about abandonment, okay? I will overcome being raised by an emotionally unavailable parent. My worth is not defined by how others perceive me. I'm hearing a message come through from your higher self to say <clears throat> that there are out there are people out there right now incredibly successful, incredibly confident, incredibly forward moving, and a lot of those people had a great support system to back them, parents that believed in them. And if you're someone who doesn't have that, please know that that means this is just even more magical that you have gotten yourself to this place, okay? Please, please, um, believing in yourself is key. It says, it will turn out all right in the end. You'll see Beauty and the Beast. So Beauty and the Beast may have a message in it for you. We have, I need to, I need to stop giving power to the self-sabotaging thoughts that ruin my inner peace. I need to stop giving power to the self-sabotaging thoughts that ruin my inner peace. Beautiful. And I apologize, I am a clumsy witch and there are <laughs> some vanilla stains on these cards. Being a victim of narcissistic abuse means I am struggling to find my own reality. It is okay to give myself time to heal. Beautiful. Messages, please, from Pile One's higher self to Pile One. <clears throat> we have where the wild things are. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish I could describe this electric feeling <laughs> that I am getting from your energy. Oof, I wish I could just send it right back to you. There's this, ugh, come. Oof. <laughs> You, it's like a, a phoenix rising from the ashes is what this feels like. Messages please from pile one's higher self to pile one. I am not responsible for the trauma forced on me as a child, but I am responsible for my own recovery. Okay, we have, it is okay to not be okay. Remember, pile one, if you're having anxieties about needing to stay in a certain vibration in order to accomplish the forward moving that you need to accomplish, that is a false narrative, okay? Um, high vibrational doesn't always mean calm and peaceful, okay? So a lot of times if you feel these triggers coming out, you can be just as high vibrational, allowing yourself to purge them, allowing yourself to have a good cry, allowing, allowing yourself to just go for a run um, to get all of that energy out. It doesn't mean you're backtracking, okay? Um, it is just as high vibrational to allow yourself to purge as it is to be out there getting things done, okay? As, it's, it's as high vibrational as being happy on the inside. It's just a different kind of high vibe, right? Messages for pile one from their higher self, please. All right, we have my trauma does not define me and I am not ashamed of my scars. I'm drawn to flip it over too. The books gave Matilda a comforting message. You are not alone. So the movie Matilda may have a message in it for you. We have, I need to trust that karma is real. Move on from those who have hurt me. Yeah, no retaliating, um, no buying into the people trying to, to detour you off your path. And I know that that's not something you naturally do anyway, um, but I feel like some people could, uh, could push you to that point. <laughs> really trust pile one, that karma is real, okay? I need to stop trying so hard to fit in. I am perfect just the way that I am. This is the truth. Messages please from pile one's higher self to pile one. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, I'm drawn to read this inner child message. It says, my childhood was stolen by trauma. I need to find a healthy way to move past this. 
and on the back of the deck, I am allowed to have an opinion that differs from those around me. Yes, you are a pile one. And not only that, but others should be grateful for the different perspective you have. If every one of us was the same, how boring would that be, right? I deserve to rest. Absolutely. And on the back of the deck... We have, I need to stop granting the wrong people access to my sacred energy. If you're trying to build something pile one, um, don't go for advice to the people you know are going to tear down this dream or um, give you energy, any energy other than you can do this, okay? Really try to surround yourself with the forward moving people that are aligned and matching with this vibrational frequency that you have, okay? Bergamot could be a really good oil for you to work with as well to aid you in this manifesting that you're doing okay all right pile one i'm gonna leave that here you go on and be your magical selves i wish you the best of luck and success on this journey and until next time Hi, pile two. All right, you have chosen this wooden spoon and the seven of cups. And all I could hear was the song from Aladdin, A Whole New World. And I feel like pile two, with the seven of cups being about choices, wishful thinking, doors opening up for you, I feel like you have just recently had an aha moment of some kind, or over the last year or so, you've really experienced that a different way of living reaps a different um, set of rewards or a different lifestyle that you're not used to, but you really enjoy. There's just an element of you finding yourself on a very deep level and weeding out a lot of the ego behaviors, a lot of the ego ways of being. And you're like, listen, this vulnerability looks good on me. <laughs> this vulnerability looks good on me. I think you could have spent a lot of your time in fight or flight, a lot of your time worried about um, how others are going to affect you or how others are going to hurt you in some way. And you're like, listen, if I don't even focus on that, it's a whole new world, right? If I just focus on my own self-love and my own growth and the things that I want and the things that make me comfortable, it is. It opens up a whole new set of doors for you. And I think that that's really the energy that you're in, okay? Now, we are going to pull some handwritten messages from your higher self based off of your dominant energy to get any advice coming for the future from your higher self, okay? Okay. Honestly, this just reminded me of Madison, um, Iso Taro. She talks a lot about SpongeBob and the Goofy Goobers. And I just saw the scene um, where they're dried on the board. And I remember this and I saw Madison or Iso Taro. You may have seen this video as well because I did pick the pile where she talked about this scene. Um, so <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I say that. If you haven't checked out um, Madison or Iso Taro, you should definitely go check her out. She's brilliant. She's magical. And this just reminded me of her. So I wanted to shout her out really quick. Um, but when Patrick and SpongeBob are like the movie Goofy Goobers and they're right to the board and they're singing and the tears are falling and they're like I am a goofy goober yeah and they just keep going and their tears help free them from the situation and I feel like what's happening with you pile two is your heart space is waking up again and I know I've referenced the Grinch um, with the heart growing uh, and it's not even that energy like it's not even like you were in a Grinch energy it was more a fearful energy like backed against a corner energy, like you, you had to rely on reading the body language of people around you. Um, the inner dialogue was very uh, chaotic and anxious. And I think you're finding a place now, the more you go within and rely on you for situations and for self-soothing, the more doors open up to you for the future. Like, wait a minute, going to the pub gives me anxiety and I don't have to go there, right? Like there's just a, a, a new world opening up for you. You're realizing you don't have to be in situations you don't want to be in, okay? <coughs> All right. Spirit team of pile two, higher self of pile two. Messages from pile two, higher self to pile two, please. 
All right, we have, I believe in myself and my abilities. We have, it will turn out all right in the end, you'll see, Beauty and the Beast, so Beauty and the Beast could have a message there for you. If you do see me turn the cards around, it's just because inner child messages are on the back here. I may feel called to pull them around, but if you see me flipping, that's just why, okay? I will pay more attention to the needs of my inner child. I am feeling called to read this. I used my active imagination to escape my actual reality in childhood. And that could be something um, that you allowed to follow into your adult life. And this could have been how you found um, yourself in some of the traumatic situations you're in. Not that it was your fault, um, but there could have been red flags ignored um, because of this tend tendency to disassociate. But I want to be clear, it's not your fault, okay? Um, people inflicting trauma on people uh, are hurt and wounded and sick, and it is not the fault of the victim when something like this happens, okay? I think that what happened is just red flags slipped through the blinders um, because there is a little bit of a tendency to disassociate, Okay. Or, or go within in the, in the logical instead of going within in the heart space, okay? I am in control of my thoughts, feelings, and choices. The movie Brother Bear could have a message for you. <clears throat> I'm also called to read this. I trust my own intuition and always make wise choices. Beautiful. Yeah, it's like where in the past you could have um, seen a red flag and been like, okay, I'm going to walk away from this and I don't want to be friends with you or I don't want to be in this space. Um, but as you got older and as you started getting this pushback from others who are, are wounded in one way or another, there could have been a disassociation like, okay, I'll go along for this ride, uh, but I'm not sure how I feel about it instead of moving away from that. And I think you're coming back to that intuitive space, coming back to that inner knowing of this is what I resonate with and this is what I don't. Okay. Message is based from pile two, higher self to pile two. All right, we have the, mer the Little Mermaid, so the movie The Little Mermaid could have a message for you. The movie Brave could also have a message for you. We have, I am allowed to have an opinion that differs to those around me. Um, okay, so this is an inner child message that I'm feeling called to read. I was always so worried about how people were going to judge me, so I never fully explored myself as an individual. I think the more you do pile to, you're going to see that magic. You're going to see that magic. All right. A flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. Mulan. Beautiful. And I need to stop granting the wrong people access to my sacred energy. Yeah, be aware of who's draining you and who's um, building you back up, okay? Messages, please, from pile two's higher self to pile two. We have, I deserve to rest. We have, I need to cut toxic people out of my life and I am under no obligation to explain. All right. Messages, please, from pile two's higher self to pile two. Okay. I give myself the right to feel however I need to feel whenever I need to feel it. I'm also drawn to take this off the top of the deck. It says, I have the power to change my story. Yes. Oh my gosh, the energy coming off of that. I have the power to, you have the power pile too to create your own reality, okay? James and the Giant Peach. We have grow through what you go through. Um, some of you could have had children very young in life. 
Messages, please, from Pile 2's higher self to Pile 2. We have, I will attract great things by being my most authentic self. Beautiful. And I will find my way. I can go the distance, Hercules. So Hercules may have a message there for you as well. All right. And the back of the deck energy is my worth is not defined by how others perceive me. Beautiful. All right, pile two. I hope you have the magical, the most magical next couple of months. I hope more doors continue to open up for you. And I hope you really fully get to explore who you are and what you love in the next couple of months. Okay? All right. I wish you the best of luck on this journey, pile two. And until next time, bye. Hi, pile three. Okay, you have chosen the Owl and Binoculars and the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups being about meditation and contemplation and the card at the top starting here being I am allowed to have an opinion that differs to those around me, there's a couple of things that I'm feeling. I think for years, I think for a good chunk of time, you really personalized the projections of others to the point that you thought you were doing something wrong. Um, you could have severely worked on your mental health because of this, which is an added benefit, but it wasn't really you that was, was struggling with your mental health to begin with. Um, it, it was the people around you. There's a, there's an aspect here of going back to regroup, um, like a time warp res rescue mission, right? There's a part of you that is waking up to how you've been treated in the past, how you've been projected onto in the past. And there's, you're, you're going to the rescue of your former selves, so to speak. With the four of cups here, it's almost like you're, you're in the depths of this emotional state of being, um, just lingering and, and looking at every time you regret not speaking up for yourself or not holding your boundaries or not um, removing toxic people from your life. There's just a, an energy of wanting to go back and, and rescue yourself. Pile three, you are an incredibly high version of yourself right now, um, doing a lot of shadow work, and you are, in fact, rescuing those parts of yourself. It may not look like a sci-fi movie where you're time warping and, and you know, grabbing yourself from a situation, but you are, are ultimately doing a lot of healing work, a lot of introspection, a lot of shadow work, a lot of inner child work, and you're realizing who you are and what you're meant to do. With this, I am allowed to have an opinion that differs to those around me. I feel like a lot of you could have been projected onto because of this, because your opinion is different and somehow personalize that. I say somehow, but you have no idea how easy it is to personalize that, especially if you don't have a support system telling you otherwise. You are brilliant, pile three. Do not own the projections of others. We're going to get some handwritten messages from your higher self here to really bring in some advice. But I'm kind of feeling like no matter what we pull here, you are why is you have the knowledge you have the wisdom i feel like all we're going to be doing here whereas the other piles it was really advice moving from a stagnant situation um thus far i feel like this pile is going to be a lot of validation hopefully we can get you a lot of validation and what you're already experiencing and feeling okay <clears throat> This deck does have inner child messages on the back, so if you see me flip it, that's why. I also may be called to read some of the inner child messages that come through, okay? Messages from pile three's higher self to pile three, please. All right. We have, I am extremely sensitive to the energies around me and not all of the emotions I feel belong to me. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die, the Sandlot.
All right, I should really be meditating more if I am in need of inner peace. I'm also drawn to read this. I did not deserve the physical abuse that I endured as a child. I did nothing wrong. I'm sending you so much love to those who resonate with that. The movie Chicken Little could have a message for you. I have the power to change my story. We have an inner child message of my parent projected their insecurities onto me and I need to learn how to filter those out. On the back we have, I need to stop idolizing people for who they could be and see their true colors for what they are. My strength is greater than any struggle. I need to cut toxic people out of my life and I am under no obligation to explain. The movie Brave could have a message in it for you. <coughs> so sorry. Just because they need me right now does not mean I have the energy to help. Messages, please, from Pile 3's Higher Self to Pile 3. We have the movie A Little Princess. So the movie A Little Princess could have a message for you. <coughs> we have I'll Rise Like the Break of Dawn, Let It Go from Frozen. So the movie Frozen could have a message for you. When something breaks, I choose to turn the pieces into a beautiful mosaic. Beautiful. I am the architect of my life and I'm drawn to the back, which is an inner child message that says I used my active imagination to escape my actual reality. So piles where you could be really good at manifesting. Also be a bit careful of that disassociating, okay? My trauma does not define me, and I am not ashamed of my scars. Beautiful. Messages, please, from Pile 3's Higher Self to Pile 3. Okay. We have, I will find my way, I can go the distance, Hercules. I have the soul of a witch and my ancestors speak to me through dreams. I need to dream journal. Um, we have an inner child message here that says, we used to paint before they broke your heart. I need to paint again. And I will always stand up for myself even when it becomes difficult. I am not responsible for the trauma forced on me as a child, but I am responsible for my own recovery. We have Pinocchio on the back of this card here, so the movie Pinocchio could have a message for you. You must not let anyone define your limits because of where you come from, Ratatouille. So the movie Ratatouille could have a message for you, and we have I will attract great things by being my most authentic self. Beautiful. And on the back of the deck, we have, I will honor myself and my values in every decision that I make. Yeah, so overall, I think your energy and your energy and your energetic field, pile three, is very healing, very contemplative, um, very going back and reliving the trauma you've been through, dissecting it, really learning how to overcome it is the energy that I'm picking up from your energy pile three. I think that if you watch some of these movies, it may help you um, on this meditative, contemplative journey that you are on, okay? 
All right, I'm gonna leave that here, pile three. Continue to be the depth of soul that is you. And I wish you the best of luck on this journey. Until next time, bye. Hi, pile four. All right, you have chosen this pumpkin trio and the seven of pentacles. Okay. With the Seven of Pentacles being about persistence and determination and reward, I really feel like, Pile 4, you're working towards something. Whether you're working, to I feel like a lot of you are working towards independence. Being independent financially, being independent emotionally, um, breaking and cutting ties with codependency. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I'm also drawn to this Black Widow spider. <laughs> Fun fact, I had a Black Widow friend up in the corner of my shower for the longest time. Um, and spiders come around when abundance and wealth is coming in, when wisdom is coming in. If you are seeing spiders and everywhere and you're like, oh my god, I'm cursed, they're falling from the ceiling, please know that spiders bring a very good vibrational frequency with them. They, they bring the a good omen not a bad one okay um i know that they're creepy crawly and i even freak out my husband has to take them outside when we find them <laughs> for whatever reason i vibed with this one though so that was cool but um it found a new home <laughs> eventually um but what i'm saying is there's a growing here and you could be at a phase in your life where there's growth but the ego is trying to hold you back um with some kind of fear like seeing these spiders Again, you could be seeing them everywhere at the moment and you're like, oh my gosh, this is a bad omen. It's not going to work out for me. Or like if it rains on a wedding day and the bride is like, oh no, that's not a good omen. Um, try to remove yourself from that mindset, pile four, okay? Um, try not to look so deeply into the omens happening around you or at least research more into them if you're going to feel deeply into them, okay? Um, because with the seven of pentacles, you're definitely moving forward and there's a resilience about you this could have to do with mental health this could have to do with financial stability um and i think that you moving forward could be scary for you there's a lot of stepping out of your comfort zone there's a lot of new emotions to deal with new um, environments to deal with and you could be like okay okay i'm not ready i'm not ready and then one minute be like okay i'm ready oh wait no i'm not ready i'm not ready um and take your time pile four Take your time because there's no rush for you to get out there, okay? Working on this healing is just as important. Working on this social anxiety is just as important. Working on feeling worthy to have this abundance is important, okay? And it will come flooding in for you. It wants to come flooding in for you. It belongs to you. Um, it is your birthright. But there's an, an element of you needing to, to know that you're worthy of this. Okay, to know that you're worthy of stability and abundance and happiness and travel and whatever anybody else is worthy of. Okay, we are going to pull some handwritten messages from your higher self to get some advice moving forward. Messages, please, from Pile 4's Higher Self to Pile 4. Okay. We had quite a bit fall out here. All right. We have the movie Dumbo. So Dumbo could have a message in there for you as well. I'm feeling the live action version attached to this. Just because they need me right now does not mean I have the energy to help. I am helping to change the world one day at a time. Yeah, it's a birthright for you, this abundance. It's a birthright for you, this stability. Because the vibration you carry, Pile 4, is magical and healing to the people around you. 
okay? The universe wants to take care of these high vibrational beings here on this planet so that you can help raise the vibrational frequency, okay? Suffering is not in your destiny, pile four. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten, Lilo and Stitch. So I did see that come out here. So Lilo and Stitch could have a message for you as well. All right. We have, I need to stop comparing myself to others. We are all on our own journeys and we all are unique. I need to be more gentle with myself. We have the movie Lilo and Stitch. I'm drawn to read this inner child message as well. On the other side of these cards, if you see me flipping them, it's because they are inner child messages, but sometimes I do feel called to read them. I look for love in destructive people because of my parents and I need to heal this deep-seated wound. I need to trust that karma is real, move on from those who have hurt me. We have the movie, The Princess and the Frog. So the princess and the frog could have a message for you. Messages, please, from pile four's higher self to pile four. Okay. We have the fox and the hound. So the fox and the hound could have a message for you. I have never been more proud of myself. Beautiful energy attached to that card. When something breaks, I, cho I choose to turn it in. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> when something breaks, I choose to turn the pieces into a beautiful mosaic. We have the movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So that could have a message for you as well. My strength is greater than any struggle. All right, having a parent who cared more about image than anything has a great deal to do with my anxiety. I'm gonna read that one more time. I feel um, strong emotion coming off of that. Having a parent who cared more about image than anything has a great deal to do with my anxiety, okay? Growing up with a narcissistic parent has rubbed off on me and I need to be aware of this. So this could be a number of coping mechanisms that you use um, that could have been placed there by this narcissistic parent, okay? That could also have something to do with the dialogue, the inner dialogue that you deal with on a daily basis. A lot of pressure I'm feeling. I'm hearing the song Queen um, under pressure. Messages, please, from pile four is higher self to pile four. Thank you. Okay, we have, they say if you dream a thing more than once, it's sure to come true. We have, the movie Sleeping Beauty may have a message for you. The movie po Pinocchio could also have a message for you. I'm drawn to read what's on the back. I am not responsible for the trauma forced on me as a child, but I am responsible for my own recovery. All right, we have, I am the architect of my life. And you guys had two extra pop outs, so we're gonna take them. I can heal the energies of others, but I must first heal the energy of myself. Beautiful. And I need to stop trying so hard to fit in. I am perfect just the way that I am. Beautiful. On the back of the deck here, we have The Land Before Time. So the movie The Land Before Time could also have a message for you. I just saw Ducky running around. <laughs> All right, pile four. Overall, your energy is incredibly resilient and forward-moving and building and there's abundance 
stability of all kinds wanting to come in for you but there's a need to trust yourself there's a need to release the projections of others there's a need to um distance yourself from the belief that bad omens are following your trail okay you are powerful and you are doing this pile for i believe in you all right i am going to stop that here I wish you the best of luck on this journey. Keep being your healing, beautiful selves. And until next time.